How you doing, guys? Welcome to the HTML Email Developer YouTube channel. Um, I had a comment uh, asking me a question about uh, um, logos, and the question is: uh, when a person starts applying for HTML Email Developer jobs and they pay for a personal website to have their portfolio on, can they use logos and images and videos from the actual stores, or do they have to uh, make fake names? Example, Starbucks coffee would be Starbuzz coffee. Says, they said, I am currently working on my first project for my portfolio, and I'm coding from scratch on an online hunting store that I took uh, screenshots of. The only thing I copied and pasted from their site into my code is their logo. I stopped and thought to ask this before proceeding. Um, again, um, I wouldn't advise um, getting the company's logo. Um, but there's an exception, and I'll explain in a couple of minutes. Um, I had a, I did, I made that mistake. Uh, did they come after me? No, they didn't come after me. Um, are they likely going to come after you? Probably not, but you just never know. Um, but, uh, I had Red Robins, uh, I did a Red Robins, um, uh, I guess it was a, uh, more like a birthday coupon, um, email on, um, I had the name on my site and everything, the, the little logo and everything. Um, now, um, little that I know that I shouldn't have did that. By this time, my, my that uh, email template was already built. I went ahead and kept it, but I built like maybe five or six other email templates. But um, in hindsight, I, I shouldn't have did that. Uh, so what I did with the next uh, name brand uh, email template, uh, it was Michael Kors. So what I did was I uh, just pulled the images and everything and, uh, you know, little, just all the images uh, from Michael Kors. But it was it has it didn't have his name on anything. It didn't have Michael Kors on anything. And then I just named it M-K-O-R-S. And um, uh, that's what I was, uh, uh, that's what I explained to the uh, the person in the comments. Um, I just rather use images and uh, of, of the, um, you know the 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 company uh, rather than their 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 name or logo, so that that would be my advice. Um, now the exception is, I had used a couple of local local uh, uh, businesses around here and did their logos for them, um, and uh, I think you can get away with that uh, a little bit more better than you can. Uh, like Starbucks or whatever, uh, because like I said, you never know; those people may come after you. They got a big brand, so uh, uh, you probably could uh, uh, really get away with it if you just, you know, get one of your local stores around here, uh, around your neighborhood, and duplicate that. And uh, also, you can send it to them and ask them, do they like it? And they might like it and give you more work and say, hey, can you build some more email templates for us? So you never know. Uh, but that's uh, my take on it. I would just use the images, and I would change the name, and because uh, you can still do Starbucks instead of Starbucks. But uh, don't use any of their logos. Uh, you can just use their images, you know, and uh, don't use their name. And uh, that'll be good to go. I mean, because personally, that's what I did. That was my, my first email template was uh, duplicating, um, not duplicating, but uh, using um, Red Robin. I just changed the uh, email template around. It wasn't the same one that uh, they sent me. I just customized it to my own way. But I shouldn't have used... Uh, I shouldn't have used uh, Red Robin, and I shouldn't have used their logos. So that's my answer right there, and I hope you, uh, Linda, I hope you uh, received this email, and I also messaged you. Again, guys, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Take care.